Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews, and welcome to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. From Oddball Brewing of Pembroke, New Hampshire, this is their brand new Hoptomic Double IPA, uh, alcohol by volume of 8.4%. And this was just bottled today, so that's about as fresh as you can get, other than sticking a bottle under the spigot and pouring it right out of the fermenter. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. This is the second offering from this brand new brewery that opened about three blocks from my home. I had their wheat and enjoyed that, and now it's time to check out their double IPA, and let's see what we have to offer on this. So obviously, since this was just bottled, probably only about three or four hours ago, I'm the first person to review this one in the world. So, let's give it a pour into this New Hampshire beer glass. Double IPAs, they seem to be very popular these days by a lot of breweries. Okay, there's the pour. Not a huge head on this, but it wasn't a very aggressive pour. The color is kind of a milky looking uh, copper amber tone. Again, not a very aggressive pour. So it didn't foam up that much, but boy, there's plenty of aroma. I haven't even put it on my nose yet. Mmm, lots and lots of aroma. Mm, and uh, but it looks uh, looks definitely like it's fresh out of the uh, fermenter, you know, unfiltered, and it's um, got that sort of milky look to it. So, and now let's check out those aromas for sure. Pine. Hmm. And I'm getting some floral characters and some citrus characters, almost like orange or something, orange zest. Pine again. Uh, citrus. So plenty of those uh, hoppy, bright hoppy characters that people love to enjoy. So let's check out the taste. Mmm, bitterness. Okay, now this is interesting. I like this actually. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Well, it's, I like it. Uh, first of all, the body is really medium and smooth. Maybe a little better than medium. Definitely smooth though, kind of creamy almost. It's very easy to drink. Mm, not bad on the palate in that regard. I'm getting this kind of sweet character to start. The sweet grainy character at the beginning. And then, um, but that's what I get at first. It's very sweet and very grainy. However, the hops really kick in and it doesn't take long for them to do so. Mm. Quite a bitterness, bitterness at the end. The hops have a very interesting character of, again, citrus and pine. Uh, a little bit of a fruit character, almost like apple. You know, it kind of in some regards, it reminds me of a bit of an apple type. I don't want to say apple cider, but it's got this kind of apple fruitiness mixed in with those uh, citrus and uh, floral hops and pine uh, hop tastes that are mixing in with that sweet, malty, grainy malt character. The bitterness is definitely, there's a definite bitterness at the end. It really lingers quite uh, for a time at the end of my palate. Pretty easy to drink, 8.4% fresh out of the fermenter, so it's not, I'm not getting any kind of booze or alcohol uh, on this one at all. Not in the aroma or not in the taste. Uh, but I'm definitely getting the really fresh hop character. And again, this is only less than 24 hours old, so can't go too wrong with freshness. When you want to drink IPAs, whether they're double IPAs or regular IPAs, you want them about as fresh as you can possibly get them because that hop character fades. You've probably seen this if you, if you watch other reviews. There's plenty of reviewers out there on YouTube. I'm friends with many of them. We all talk about the same sort of things. And uh, you're probably drawn to this because you have an interest in craft beer. So, and maybe you might have an interest in hopped beers. The hoppy beers seem to be very popular these days. Mm, but um, there's definitely a, it's like almost an astringent bitterness at the end. It's just a, a real pucker up kind of bitterness at the end. But it's not, in a, I'm not saying that in a bad way. It just definitely leaves a bitter finale after all those uh, uh, apple type, citrus, pine, and sweet malt characters come into play. Those all start for the first moment of the sip and they kind of evolve quickly, and then you have this bitterness, and it's still lingering now from that last sip. I'm still tasting it in the back of my throat, so this definitely has some bitterness to it. I think their, their website said it was 93 IBUs. I don't think it says that on the label, but I saw that number somewhere, whether it was on their website or 
Maybe I overheard them mention it when I was over at the brewery today. I don't know what, but 93 IBUs, so that's got a bit of a bitterness uh, to it. So, decent beer. Uh, you know, it's a nice double hopped IPA. Uh, I think it's, if you like hopped up beers, I think you'll find this one to be nice. Um, and, uh, you know, I think you'll enjoy it. I enjoy it. And I'm not a huge fan of the super hopped up beers. I like them all right. But this one seems to hold its own very well. So, second beer I've had from this brewery. And I'm really hoping for good things for them. Their next brew up, which they say will be ready in uh, second week in January, I think they told me today, will be a stat. So I'll be interested in trying that one. So that'll do it today. That's Oddball Brewing and their Hoptomic Imperial IPA. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.